BIM for Masonry, commonly referred to as BIM-M, is a masonry industry initiative geared towards promoting masonry use in a BIM environment. We are pleased to present the following video, which is one in a series to aid users in modeling masonry within Autodesk Revit. These videos are intended for users who are already familiar with the Revit interface and modeling in Revit. Please visit BIMformasonry.org for all that BIM-M offers. Welcome to the BIMformasonry.org Revit Tutorials. Our first video topic is Hatch Patterns. We'll cover four sections in this video relating to Hatch Patterns. The coding of a pattern, the use of third-party plugins for Hatch Pattern creation, how to load Hatch Patterns, and lastly, a couple of tips and tricks when working with Hatch Patterns. The definition of Hatch Patterns in Revit is done through a .pat file. This file, when opened, will seem like lines of code that dictate to Revit how to draw the patterns. The diagram you see does a good job of explaining how the code is built up. Hatch pattern lines all start with an angle, followed by the X and Y origins, a pattern shift in the X axis, a pattern offset in the Y axis, and then a repetition between the amount that the distance the line is drawn or that the pen is lifted and repeats drawing. More information about how to code a pattern file can be found within the Autodesk Revit help files. We will also be providing more information, such as this graphic, in the information portion of this video. Hatch 22 is an add-in utility that helps you to create model and drafting fill patterns for Revit from a third-party company called Mertens 3D. The power of Hatch 22 is that it allows you to draw a hatch pattern of a higher complexity directly within the Revit environment that bypasses the need for coding. As you can see in the video, we're drawing a relatively simple offset pattern. The biggest thing to remember when using Hatch 22 is that you need a boundary line around your designed pattern. For more information on the Hatch 22 Pattern Maker by Mertens 3D, we encourage you to visit their site at mertens3d.com. Mertens 3D is not a sponsor or advertising partner of the BIMM community and is a third-party paid application. The application of Hatch Patterns to materials is vital to proper usage and working within the Revit environment. You'll see here that we have a bare wall. When I select it, it shows me that I have a 6-inch CMU wall, but it's clearly missing its hatch pattern. To load the patterns, you go to the Manage tab, Additional Settings, Fill Patterns. A dialog of fill patterns will appear showing you the already loaded patterns. By default, the Drafting Radio button will be selected. In this case, we want to be using a model pattern as we are trying to show a real-life scaled pattern. Click New, a custom radio button, and Import. Navigate to a folder that has your Hatch Patterns files stored in it. Select the file you want to load the Hatch Pattern from. In this case, we're going to use the 6x16 running bond pattern. Select OK twice. You now have the Hatch Pattern loaded into the project, but it's not yet assigned to anything. Let's now use that loaded pattern in a wall construction assembly. First, you'll want to make a material called Masonry 8x16 CMU. If you go to the Manage tab, Materials, and search Masonry, right click, duplicate the Masonry material, and rename it to 8 inch by 16 inch CMU. On the right, select the surface pattern, select 8 by 16 running bond and click OK. You can also change the cut pattern if you wish. Click OK and you now have a material with the running bond pattern associated to it. Now let's assign that material to our wall from earlier. Select the wall, edit the type, edit the structure of the wall. Click the button that says by category material and change it to the new one we just made of masonry CMU 8 by 16 running bond. It should be highlighted already as it was the last one created in the material editor just a moment ago. Click OK twice and you'll see your wall pattern appear on the wall. The reason we use a model based pattern is the ability to align the pattern to other elements in the wall. 
This allows us to take off proper coursing of a material. The other advantage of uh, model-based patterns is the ability to move it around as required, and in the very rare case, the ability to rotate it as seen on the screen. All of these things can be realigned as needed. One of the ways to keep your level of efficiency up is to have a view of loaded hatch patterns. As you can see here, we have some drafting and model based patterns preloaded into a view. This allows us to easily keep our patterns preloaded into Revit, and it also visually uh, represents what the pattern will look like instead of looking at files and coded files. The ability to just copy and paste a pattern from one project to the other makes it far easier than having to go through the loading process that we discussed earlier in the video. Once a pattern is pasted into pretty much any view, you're able to use it in your material assignments and creations. The other tip and trick that we like to use when coding a new pattern from scratch or from an existing pattern is the use of graph paper. It quickly allows you to see a structured unit um, for you to visually see what you're about to code. This is a little bit trickier than the use of something like the Martin's 3D program that we also discussed earlier in the video. But if you're looking to save a few dollars and don't mind coding your own pattern, this is a pretty good way to do it. For additional information on how to code your own hatch pattern, we have provided a file of the 8 inch by 16 inch CMU coursing. This file will help users to understand the coding necessary to make a pattern file that is subsequently loaded into Revit. In our next video, we'll be covering how to better represent masonry in building and wall sections. On behalf of the BIM for Masonry.org team, we hope that you've enjoyed our video covering hatch patterns and that this helps you learn how to leverage Revit to your personal needs.